Hi, so I just came back from school. I took uh, an exam, AP Lang exam. It went well, I think it went well. But now it's currently 12.21. Whoa, it's 12.21. Okay, um, I need to leave at three. I need to be at my friend's house at three because she's taking me. So I should leave my house at like 2.45, 2.50, which gives me approximately more than two hours. Okay, right, so I need to eat need to get some things in my belly, you know, because I'm going to be there till very late. I need to eat. Then I need to do my makeup. Also, I broke one of my nails yesterday, so I need to take care of that. Um, this is my mess of a room currently that I should probably clean. Sorry, I'm like this close to the camera. This vlogging should be... I'm shaking. <laughs> Today is a lot. Hello gang, I just ate in the whopping time of five minutes. Now I'm probably gonna clean my room so I can, you know, have calmness in my life for the next two hours. I'm gonna light a candle, everything's gonna be very relaxing, very good. The blinds are gonna be open, I'm gonna let the light in, I'm gonna do my makeup, everything's gonna be very calm and good. finally I just need to file it down because it's way too big right now and I don't want to poke their eyes out but yes um we're good on time I still have about half an hour before I need to go I'm gonna file this nail down and oh yeah get my bag ready here's oh god how am I gonna show this this is my outfit um I guess just short uh, shirt and my face and then I'm gonna wear platform heels <laughs> uh, let me show you something that I did today in art class because I had nothing to do it's this little guy his name is um, Hugo and he likes slime also I want to show you guys this little plant that I'm really proud of because I'm actually growing it it came with soil with the seeds and with this little pot that looks like a bathtub and it's really cute and I'm really excited because it's actually growing and it wasn't growing for a while uh, for a while I mean like a week <laughs> which is normal um, but yes it's finally growing and they're so cute they're so tiny hey little buddy hello hi I watered them this morning so they're all good they're all good. And there's this cactus, cactus, that I got a few months ago. My mom gave it to me. Then this bonsai tree, very pretty, um, quite small, but I thought I would start with a small bonsai tree. Um, then eventually one day I might get a big one. And this, I've had this for over two years. It's going to be two years this Sunday because it's my birthday. I got it. I don't know, a family friend gave it to me and it wasn't supposed to be a plant that I would keep but I did and I kept watering it and it's still here and there's a little flower. You look kind of sad. <laughs> my mom also gave me this one, it's the little bamboo, good luck bamboo things. And then there's this other little cactus that I bought the other day. And finally, the big papa! The big papa plant, my favorite plant in the entire world. I put it over there on my wall and I'm so excited because, oh, it's beautiful i love it i'm so excited i love this plant so much i'm gonna water it this weekend keep it nice and healthy i want to keep this forever and yeah i might add some other plants i don't know where if i should add more on my wall whoa what if i had like one right here you know like i was watching videos this weekend of this lady who had a room that was basically an indoor garden and she just lived um in in plants actually in plants in between plants and plants on top of plants everything was plants and it was amazing i don't think i want to go that extreme but yes i do really like the whole aesthetic with the black wall the white wall and the greens. Um, so yeah, my room basically is just white, black, and green. And then the little gray of the bed. I'm really excited about my room. Um, this is not the right video to talk about it, but you know, you know, 
you know, my crew and I from video broadcasting, Ella, Mo, and I, we won an Emmy. We submitted our short film voices that some people might have watched, I don't know. Uh, some people might have watched it. We submitted it to the Emmys, like the student Emmys, and we won this, the regional section, which means it's like Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, like all these states around here. That's so exciting. <laughs> we won an, we're students and we won an Emmy. That's amazing. Um, so, you know. <gasps> My mom is driving me to my friend's house. Uh, yeah. It's it's starting. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> Um, do you want to see your name? Because I can see your name. Megan. Megan, do you, what's your URL? I'm Piggy Widgeon. Oh, I yeah. look gross. Oh, God. <laughs> We've been talking. It's, it's cool because we met on Tumblr and we, we always, we never talk in real life. We always just say hi yeah. in the halls. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like talking to an internet friend. Yeah. It's like, oh. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, I'm going to die. We are, we're arriving at 431 and it's, but it's Three minutes. I don't. I can't tell if the camera's shaking. Yeah, it's shaking. We <laughs> drove. We drove past.
eat them, but I was too engrossed in the show and I didn't eat anything and I spent five dollars on it. Must set a fresh popcorn. Yeah, you can eat the popcorn. Hmm. That was amazing. <laughs> that was a lot. A lot happened. Mm -hmm. It was literally all of the things Dan and Phil combined, which is what people have been telling me that it's all the stuff like even the even the cringy things. It's all of those combined, but very well. Mm -hmm. And there's <laughs> dark. <laughs> yeah, it's dark. Um, so it was a real Dan and Phil God, experience. That was so. A lot Take happened. The next right turn, then next <coughs> left turn. I'm so. I, I like the, the popcorn. <laughs> you like that's not Dan and Phil branded popcorn. Oh, no, no. It's Fox Theater branded popcorn. No, no, doesn't matter. It was close to Dan and Phil. It was yeah. It was close to Dan and Phil. They probably breathed the same mm, air. Yeah. Yeah. It was, the, it was in the same room. The same bacteria. The show in itself was so good that if I, I didn't meet them, I would have been completely fine with it. The show. I'm, and I'm not saying this just because it's like Dan and Phil, but it was so well made. Like they put so much In work a into it. Mile, make a and right there was turn onto nice 75 North. <laughs> there was audience interaction, but it was like you got you got to do it before the show. Mm -hmm. You got to submit things before the show, and then they they incorporated what you gave what you gave them before into the show. Right. So like there's weird kids stories, which is the thing that Phil talks about um, before the show. I didn't have time to do that because of the meet and greet, but some people got to go up to this booth or the stand and write down uh, weird kids stories. And then mm -hmm. they incorporated that into the show. Um, wow. Same with Dan. Dan and, and on YouTube, he has this this thing where that's called internet support group where basically people send him emails like with questions and he answers them in kind of like a sarcastic way sometimes it's mm. helpful but mostly it's not <laughs> so and uh, what how was the meeting and greeting oh god experience? the meet and greet i was towards the front mm. of the line uh, so i was one of the first like 30 people to meet them jesus Someone dying. Did someone have an anxiety attack and just mm -hmm. collapse while watching the show? I no joke. I, you know, you know, I never really cry when like watching movies and stuff. No, no. No, you no. Okay, you can you can say that's true. I've never you've never seen me cry because of movies. No, I never seen it, saw you cry. <laughs> Right. Yeah. No, that actually almost made me cry because it was so good and I was so proud. Mm -hmm. My face hurts currently because for the entire like hour and a half that I watched the show, I couldn't stop smiling and my face, <laughs> like I was just uh, meet and greet. It, I mean, it had to be quick because they didn't have time, uh, like a lot of time. Right turn for to 75 North. They, they, they didn't have a lot of time to have long conversations with everyone, so it was just like a quick chat. Yeah. And I just said like, thank you, um, and that I, um, they were the first YouTubers that I became invested in, and because of that, that kind of opened, opened like a door into seeing other, other YouTubers and becoming inspired by YouTubers that are filmmakers and stuff, and then I became really interested in film, and then I told them about the Emmy Award, and they were like, wow, congratulations, and I was like, <laughs> um, My friend, Megan, the one that I went with, she actually tried to take a video of it, but she couldn't go that far. Like the security guard was telling her to stop so she couldn't really get a good video but i got the voice recording which is really all i care about because one thing that i regret the the time that i the first time that i met them is that i have i don't remember exactly what they said so i can't i mean i can imagine it but uh -huh. there's that thing that um the more you think about something the more you change it yeah yeah so i'm pretty sure i don't remember it exactly like it was the first time I met them. So now I can just listen to the recording. Woo! Yeah, like uh, stay on eighty-five. They told you. North. Hi, Sophia. Uh, how are you? 
but you're starting to remember. Hi, Sophia. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that they declared their love for me. Yeah, That's what I, happened. Yeah, I remember to tell um, me every, every time this kind of thing, and I believe on that. Yeah, no, I'll show you the recording after, but um, Phil actually asked me to marry him. Yeah, so, yeah. But um, he said that he wanted my parents' mm -hmm. yes on it first. So, I mean, do you guys, would you guys let me? Yeah, they, they, he, he called me. So oh, I, he called you? I said no. Oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't know who was the guy that he was calling, asking to marry you. Oh, you said, oh, so no wedding. No wedding for me and Phil. I don't know, because he, he, the guy told me, I'm done. Okay. Oh. And I, I said, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> You're done? <laughs> Wait, so who called you, Phil or Dan? Dan. Oh, Dan? He told me, I'm Dan. <laughs> Not what? Dan. Scandal. So Dan called you while asking you to marry me, but Phil was the one that asked me to marry him. There's a conflict here. Uh, maybe it was Phil. The, they are very close. The names, you know. <laughs> yeah, Phil and Dan. That's uh, totally you, you, you the You all time say Dan and Phil, and when you say Dan, I, uh, in my mind is Phil, and yeah. when you say Phil, is Dan. All there are all the names are together. Dan and Phil. Do you actually know so how I, to? I, just... I'm not sure now anymore. If even someone called me. <laughs> Do you actually know the difference between Dan and Phil? Like who is him? Which one has brown hair? Phil? No. <laughs> I know from the fact a brown hair guy all this sounds when he call me ask him to marry you. Okay. So it was Phil in this case. But Phil has black hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> Which one was it, Dad? Which one wants to marry me? No, I'm, I'm under pressure now. I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't recall anymore. Given the situation that both of them wanted to marry me, which one would you prefer married me? Uh, fan? Fan? <laughs> <laughs> Did I say right? I didn't hear. Did you say Dan or Phil? Fan? <laughs> I just arrived. My head's pounding. I'm very tired. Somehow, while I was there, I managed to get this little pimple on my lips. That looks disgusting right now. <coughs> I feel calm. I feel rejuvenated. I feel like I've reached enlightenment. Perfect in schlag. I'm gonna go take my contacts and my makeup off right now. And I'm gonna get into bed and sleep. I'm overwhelmed. Not gonna lie. Only thing I can say really about it is that it was a lot. A lot happened. And even if I wanted to spoil it, I couldn't spoil everything because it so much happened that I I would miss things. And I keep like trying to go over the show in my head and I keep missing things because a lot happened. So many little seg If you have the chance to see it, even if you don't go to VIP, oh my god, I would be so okay with not getting VIP just to see, like if I just got to see the show, the show in itself is worth so much. I'm so happy that I spent the money I did on this. It was incredible. So well made. There's everything Dan and Phil that you could think of, ev literally everything. Even the cringy stuff, but the thing is, about the cringy things, they're not, when you see them in the show, they're not cringy, they're more endearing. That was so much. That was so, so much, so much. And I genuinely laughed, like, not a fake laugh, I actually laughed and couldn't stop laughing for like a solid minute at some stuff. It, it was so funny. It was... So funny. So if you have the chance, please go see it. Like, even if you get a bad seat, whatever, just go see it. Go experience it. It was so good. 
It was, oh God, oh God, I want to take my contacts off. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so emotionally drained. I'm so, oh God, I want to scratch my eye. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Um, good night, I guess. Have a good day.